this is Shivangi. Welcome back to our channel. I have really missed you and I have missed doing this. This was the first time since I started beauty vlogging in 2018 that I took a break this long. Like it's been over two weeks since I uploaded a video but I would have come here earlier. Unfortunately after coming back from home I felt terribly sick and it took me a week to completely recover. I've actually put on a full face of makeup after two weeks and it felt really good. Everyone who follows me on my Instagram handle knows that I did post a poll yesterday on which video should I make. Should I make one on fragrances or should I make one on Nykaa's uh, latest all day matte lipsticks. Most of the people wanted to see the lipstick video but I want to do it in daylight. If the rain gods have a little bit of mercy on me, I will hopefully be able to record tomorrow. I want to, you know, record the swatches in daylight so that you have a better idea of how the lipstick looks. So today I am going to talk about certain fragrances. I actually bought them last month, I think last month or last to last month when Nykaa's sale was going on. The fragrances which I'm going to show you range from 210 rupees going up till 1800 rupees. So these are affordable to mid-range fragrances. Everything is under 2000 rupees and a lot of these fragrances are actually always on discount. I'm pretty sure I've not paid the full price for any of these products. I'm going to leave the links in the description box below so you can you know check them out check out the prices and everything i will tell you the mrp of each and every fragrance regardless and yeah that's it now without further ado let's begin this video and i'm going to go in the ascending order of the price from the most affordable to the most expensive so let's begin with the first one the first fragrance which I'm going to show you is from Engage. It is their perfume spray. This one is W3 and I also got another one. This is W2. The MRP is 210 rupees but I think I paid around 160 rupees for each of these fragrances. Starting with the W3 variant which is actually my favorite out of the two that I got. It has a really refreshing scent. It is musky and aqua like but it is not masculine. It is still feminine and it doesn't smell like cheap perfume if you know what I mean. Like it is quite a sophisticated fragrance. So this is the one which I really like. Now the second one which is the W2 variant this is a proper floral fragrance but it is a tad too sweet for my liking. I'm somebody who prefers fresh floral fragrances. This is more of a sweet floral fragrance. I don't have any complaints when it comes to the scents of these perfume sprays because they are nice but there is one major drawback and that is the longevity of these perfume sprays. They don't last beyond an hour. I have tried and tested them multiple times but at least on me, I cannot smell them on me after an hour. And even on your clothes for that matter, they barely last for like two hours or so, not beyond that. I was actually expecting a bit more from these because the actual engaged perfumes, I think the ones which come for 500 or 600 rupees, they do last for at least four to five hours on your body and on your clothes. These just disappear, completely disappear. I'm still going to use them and finish them, but I don't think I'm going to purchase these again. The next set of fragrances are from Nykaa from their Masaba by Nykaa collection and I bought a set of three pocket perfumes. This is how the bottle looks like. It's a glass bottle with a golden cap. It's actually a pretty good looking bottle. Even the quantity is pretty decent. It is going to last you long. I'm really not sure how much I paid for the set of three, but they do retail for 2.99 rupees each. I'm going to start off with the one that I don't like and it is this one. It's called Burn Babe. This fragrance actually hurts my nose, in all honesty, guys. It is so warm. It is a woody fragrance, but it is just so strong and it is such a warm fragrance that I just don't like it when I put it on. That's why I've barely used it. Like two, three times I've tried this on and I did not like it at all. It is a strong, warm fragrance. So this is not something which I would recommend unless you are into really warm and spicy and woody fragrances. It is a bit too strong. Now coming to the second one, which is called Wild For You. This is a fragrance which I actually like. Again, it is a refreshing, fresh fragrance. 
fragrance. It is not exactly aqua like musky fragrance, but it has refreshing notes of amber and citrus. So, this is a good fragrance. It is not entirely feminine, it is somewhere between a masculine and feminine fragrance. If you're someone who doesn't like fragrances which are too musky or too floral or fruity, then this is a good middle option to consider. Now, the last one, which is actually my favorite, is this one. It's called Uptown Girl and it is a fresh floral fragrance. It has hints of jasmine. So after you put it on, the fragrance of jasmine actually lingers on your body and on your clothes for a long, long time. These fragrances do easily last for four to five hours. Like for four to five hours, you will be able to smell them on your body. But after that, they fade from your body. However, after applying them on my body and on my clothes, I did realize that they do last on the clothes longer than they last on the body. Overall, I do like them. Whenever I do finish them, I will consider purchasing these two again, Uptown Girl and Wild For You. But I don't think so I'll go for a full size because uh, the full size retails for 1800 rupees and for 1800 rupees I would expect a bit more of a lasting power for 300 rupees these pocket perfumes are not bad at all and before anyone says that I have not used them I just want to show you a closer look of the bottle this one I've used the most I think this is uptown girl and these I've used maybe two to three times and I don't load myself up with perfume I have really used them guys and that's why I'm able to review them. The next set of fragrances are from Skin by Titan. This did not come in a set. I actually picked them up separately. This one is called Nude. This one is called Celeste and this one is called Pristine. Now this is how they look like. These are beautiful sturdy bottles, glass bottles and they do retail for 595 rupees. You get 20 ml of perfume for 595 rupees. Now in all honesty, I've used each of these fragrances for about two to three times and not more than that. That's why you can see that the bottles have not finished much. They have gone down just a little bit but these are some of the best pocket perfumes that I have tried. Now let's talk about the scents first. Pristine has hints of patchouli and musk. It is not a feminine fragrance. It is almost masculine. It is really fresh. It has a touch of spice as well. It is beautiful. It is such a refreshing fragrance. If you're into fruity and floral fragrances, then you might not like this one because this is not fruity or floral in any way. Plus, what I loved about these fragrances is that they don't get into your nose or give you a headache. They they do have the perfect strength. They are neither too mild nor too strong and they last on your body for good seven to eight hours. On your clothes, for up to two days. Like you can really smell these fragrances on your clothes when you put them on. The second one is nude and this is easily my favorite scent out of the three. It is a fruity slash floral fragrance. It has hints of lychee, raspberry, rose and a touch of musk, like very little musk to make it refreshing. I love this fragrance so much guys. In fact, I'm like getting excited talking about this fragrance. I am going to buy a full size version of this one for sure. I love it so much. It is neither too sweet nor too musky. It is perfectly balanced. Love, love, love this variant. The last one, which is Celeste, is a slightly warmer fragrance. It is a fruity fragrance. It has notes of pears and peaches, but it does have a touch of patchouli and sandalwood, which makes it slightly warmer and slightly spicy. So this is something which I might not buy in the future. This is not my kind of a fragrance, but if you do like warm fragrances, then this is not too strong. Like it is fruity and warm but not too sweet or too strong. It also has a, one of those most common affordable perfumes like scent. I like it. I'm not saying that it is bad but um, yeah this is not something which I will repurchase. 
Now, last but not the least, I've got two full-size fragrances from Moi by Nyka. These were on a good discount. That's why I got the full-size variants. And I don't have the box for this. I actually carried this bottle when I was traveling. So I kind of got rid of the box. This one is called Joy de Vivre. And this one is called Raison d'Etre. Three. Excuse my French guys, I really don't know the language. I don't know the correct pronunciations. So if you do know, then let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, these are the two fragrances that I picked. Out of these two perfumes, I've used this one the most for 10 days, twice a day, every single day when I was traveling. And this one I've used about three to four times. That's why, you know, you can see the difference in the quantity. Starting with this perfume, I actually picked this one up because of my obsession with the fragrance of rose. So the fragrance description mentioned that it has a combination of rose and vanilla plus musk and vetiver. Rose and vanilla is a match made in heaven for me, but it does not actually smell much like rose or vanilla. It smells more of vetiver and musk. Like I really could not get the fragrance of rose and vanilla in this particular variant. I wouldn't say it's a bad fragrance. It is a good fragrance. I've said that about a lot of fragrances. <laughs> But yeah, it is a good fragrance and it is more of a warm, musky fragrance with a tiny, maybe like a really tiny bit of floral notes to it. The lasting power is decent. It is as good as the Masaba by Nyka perfume. It lasts on your body for four to five hours and it does last on your clothes for at least a day. I will personally not pick this perfume up again. I think I was expecting something completely different and I got something completely different, but it is completely up to you. Just keep in mind when you read the description, it does not smell of rose or vanilla. We are down to the last and final fragrance, which is Joey D. Vivre. Again, excuse my French. <laughs> I carried this perfume when I was traveling. This was the only perfume which I was carrying. And that is because I love love this perfume. If you have used Dolce & Gabbana light blue, this perfume is the exact dupe. And I kid you not, like the exact dupe of that fragrance. And it is a beautiful fragrance. The only difference between the Dolce & Gabbana one and this one is the lasting power. That one, of course, lasts all day long. In fact, for two, three days on your clothes and, you know, the fragrance does linger on your body for a long, long time. This lasts for good four, five hours, lasts on your clothes for a day at least. This is not a fruity or floral fragrance. It is a woody and fresh citrusy fragrance. I have used Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue in the past and that used to be one of my favorite refreshing perfumes. So when I received this and when I actually tried it on, I was thrilled. You get 100 ml of DNG Light Blue for close to 7,000 rupees and here you get 100 ml of the exact same fragrance for 1,800 rupees. I know the lasting power is not as good as Dolce & Gabbana but I can manage like if the fragrance is the same then I'm happy I'll happily apply this every four to five hours if needed but you don't really need to reapply it again and again because it does last on your clothes for a long time so I would totally recommend it if you want you can of course try the mini variant which again retails for 299 rupees pretty sure there are discounts running too you can try out the smaller one if you like it then you can go for the bigger one I will surely repurchase this again once I run out of it and with that, we've come to an end of this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. Oh my God, I miss doing this, man. I have really missed doing this and I'm so glad that I'm back. There are so many exciting things coming up. Festive season is coming up. I am planning my festive series for Durga Puja, Navratri and Diwali. The videos will start coming out soon. I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It truly means so much to me, guys and whenever I read your messages your comments uh, you all are really kind and I'm so grateful for it so thank you so much I know that I haven't been that consistent with my content lately but I assure you that things are going to change I have planned a lot of things and I can only hope that you will like the content which I'm going to create in the future but still I want to thank you for all your love and support and I'm looking forward to make some really good content the kind of content that you you would like to watch in the near future. 
anyway guys with that we've come to an end of this video i truly hope that you enjoyed watching it if you haven't subscribed to our channels already then please consider subscribing to our channels we have of course got this channel where i post beauty content and we've got another channel where we post daily vlogs you can also consider following me on instagram i keep posting updates on my story and post some makeup related content on my instagram handle i'm going to leave the links in the pinned comment of the comment section below you can go through our content and if you do like what you see then you can consider following and subscribing on that note i'm going to sign off for now you take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one super soon bye bye Mwah.